William Ballhouse, a member of Mercury Systems Board of Directors for the past year, has been named interim president and CEO of the Andover, Massachusetts-based defense technology supplier. Department of the Navy acting CIO Jane Rathbun said Flank Speed, the U.S. Navy's Microsoft 365-enabled cloud platform, has increased collaboration and bolstered productivity across the organization, but promised that it's just the beginning of its modernization. Rathbun addressed an audience at the Potomac Officers Club's 2023 annual Navy Summit on Wednesday. HII's Newport News Shipbuilding Division has booked contract modifications worth $393.3 million from the U.S. Navy, to implement a new strategy for delivering the CVN-79 aircraft carrier, also known as the USS John F. Kennedy. The U.S. government estimates a foreign military sale of 31 General Atomics MQ-9B unmanned aerial vehicles and associated equipment through a foreign military sale transaction would cost $3.1 billion. Anderil Industries has acquired Adranos in a transaction that makes the Costa Mesa, California-based defense technology company a solid rocket motor supplier to principal contractors providing missiles, hypersonics and other propulsion technology for key Department of Defense programs. Booz Allen Hamilton has secured a potential $85 million contract from the U.S. Navy to provide technical services in support of a unit responsible for manning and training information warfare forces. Raytheon Technologies veteran Tony Calderon has been appointed Vice President of Finance for the Integrated Mission Systems Unit at L3 Harris Technologies. Security Gents will continue to provide multi-network support services to the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's Information Technology Directorate under a $93.8 million task order modification. Join GovConWire's events 2023 Government Contracting Insights and Market Trends from the Clarity Study on July 13, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Carrie Panettiere, a former McKinsey & Company senior manager with more than 20 years of industry experience, has joined Empower AI as Vice President of Proposals and Growth Operations. A new Dell Tech analysis shows that agencies under the Department of Defense spent $239 million on other transaction agreements for cybersecurity-related activities between fiscal 2020 and fiscal 2022.